this one is 3.23 here we have to solve this problem using singularity functions so looking at this beam on the left side here it is a fixed support so this will have a reaction as well as one moment and if there is a weight acting downwards here your reaction here is going to be w and doing the moment balance we can find out this value of moment is going to be minus w there now in terms of force and moments we have point loads on this beam and we have point moment on the left hand side so for singularity functions the format that we will use for point load is this one and for point moment we are going to use minus 2 there so where a is in the location of the point force or the point moment so if i want to write down the intensity function for this which is qx we have this moment minus wl so for this we'll have x minus 0 minus 2 this one is x equals to 0 this is x equals to l then your w force going up so plus w x minus 0 for point load we use minus 1 and for this one right here it's a w acting downwards x minus l minus 1 now this function here will never be giving you a non-zero value because x minus l for this beam will always be negative so we can ignore that so after q we can calculate your shear force so from here to here we can do integration of q with a negative sign so we are going to change this sign wl x minus 0 becomes minus 1 from minus 2 change of sign again x minus 0 minus 1 becomes 0 and when we are positive we write it on the top next step your bending moment mbx one more time from here to here we are going to integrate your v with a minus sign so again this becomes minus wl x minus 0 now minus 1 becomes 0 so it goes on top change of sign so it becomes plus w x minus 0 power 0 becomes plus 1 there so now we've got the functions here so let's evaluate these functions now for the beam your x is between 0 to l so this is always going to be a positive number so this function right here gives us minus w the second part to this is w l times x minus 0 minus 1 now this right here is your unit impulse function so this is going to be non-zero only at x equals to 0 right so everywhere else your value is going to be constant minus w at x equals to 0 this function will give you an infinite value so that's why your shear force will be not defined at x equals to 0 so only that one point it is not defined everywhere else is going to be defined so then if you calculate your mb function go here x minus 0 to the power 0 will give you 1 so minus wl plus this one x minus 0 to the power 1 will give you w times x so you can simplify this as w x minus l so now if you want to plot this so for your shear force everywhere your value is minus w so you can plot it like this so this value is minus w at this point right here your shear force is not defined so you can shade this area this is your shear force for bending moment we have w x minus l so when you evaluate this at x equals to l you get 0 at x equals to 0 we get minus w l so we'll have two values 0 right here and minus w l right here so we can connect them with the line so this is how your bending moment looks so this is your vx and this one is your vx the convention that we have followed is plus this manner for shear force and in this manner for your bending moment 